Hey, this is Phil. Uh, <laughs> this is like the second update on the ghost pepper wigs. Ugh, I did do a one day fast uh, yesterday. I didn't eat anything solid yesterday. And uh, the uh, hot chocolate and the coffee did help. But as this stuff worked its way down through my small intestines and my lower intestines, when it got, uh, well, I could feel it going all the way down, which was very interesting because that's not something that uh, I normally would expect. Now, look, when you, look, so here's, here's the receipt. See, let me put my eye, eyeballs back on so I can make sure you see the word ghost pepper. But uh, where is it? Where yet? Yeah, got it. Anyway, there it is. There you go. Ghost pepper, fifteen dollars. Ghost pepper wings. Okay. And you know, actually, it's uh, ten ninety nine. And I got uh, two of the hot apple pie, the cinnamon hot apple pies. Now, as bad as the ghost wings were, <sighs> those hot apple pies are awesome. They're they've got the best hot hot apple pie in the business right now. It's like an old. Back when McDonald's used to use animal lard in their fryers, they used to cook an apple pie that had a crunchy, crispy outer crust. And the filling was just awesome. And when you bit into those, I mean, it was awesome. And they, at the time, I think they only cost like 50 cent. Because that shows you what the price has changed so far. The apple pie that McDonald's sells today is nothing like what they used to have. But... This one from uh, Popeyes is actually tastes like it's fried in uh, chicken flavored grease, animal fat, and it's rolled in uh, brown sugar, and they're awesome. They're just a little bit too expensive, but I'll pay a little bit more for something that tastes awesome. And they were awesome. But the ghost pepper was really perplexing because, first off, when I ate it, Here's the thing about something that's hot spicy, okay? What you're looking for is when you bite it, when you put it in your mouth, you want, if it's super hot spicy, you want it to burn your mouth. You want it to burn the back of your throat. You want to burn all the way going down. You want, from the point where it starts, you want it to burn there and all the way down. And sometimes it can be really uncomfortable. But that's part of the thing is because you get an endorphin rush. I mean, you get you actually, excuse me, you actually get high from it. Okay, you get a high from it. Okay. If you've ever seen this uh, YouTube uh, program called First We Feast, it's a classic old uh, YouTube program. It's been around for probably ten years now, where celebrities they eat ten wings of increasingly hotter types, and at the end they're eating stuff that'll just melt your face but it creates an endorphin rush well these wings didn't do that and I was surprised I'm sorry I'm uh, yawning but I'll explain that in a minute um, so when I was eating them I was like going these don't taste any hotter than their spicy chicken I can taste a flavor behind that spice and it's a little bitter but it wasn't hot you know so I ate I mean I ate them up because it's you know Popeye's chicken and uh, they were other than the slightly bitter bitter aftertaste of the wing they were pretty good and uh, 
So I ate them and I got them in my stomach and I ate the two apple pies and uh, unfortunately I was drinking a, uh, a red Hawaiian punch which was something that I just out of the blue when I was driving up there something in my head said hey I want a Hawaiian punch and the other part of me said hey okay no problem because normally I would have um, unsweet tea that's my go to on everything is unsweet tea and unsweet tea will tell you if the place is a good place or not because if if the unsweet tea uh, has uh, a spool taste to it it's a pretty good idea that the place has got lazy people in it which that used to be a problem at all places until they started making unsweet tea uh, McDonald's started making their unsweet tea in bags and they would put the bags down and just punch them because the problem with unsweet tea is it is a biological product. It is not like a soda. It is actually something that's real. So what happens after about two days is it starts getting, uh, I don't want to say bacteria, but maybe it is bacteria, but it gets stuff growing in it and it ruins the taste. And it, all, it, get, it gives it a uh, like a rotten grass taste. But by and large, most of the places I go today have great unsweet tea. And I, I don't think I think that Popeyes is actually in that category. So, anyway, I made a mistake with the uh, Hawaiian Punch Red, but uh, it was okay. It was just too damn sweet. And I just kept as as I got my one cup and I kept drinking. I kept putting water in it, and just you know, there was enough syrup in it to make it work, but. At, right after I ate those ghost pepper wings, I noticed something in my stomach, and they were just sitting there. The, the and I didn't eat any of the bones. Uh, I just ate the skin off of the wings. I really cleaned them, and it was just uh, like a lump. They were sitting in my stomach like a lump, and uh, and they got kind of painful. And that was when I started drinking the. I, I waited like like I said I waited a while and then uh, a couple of hours like six or seven hours and then I went ahead and I got the uh, uh, hot chocolate and I got the coffee and it really helped it really did help I mean I felt a lot better my stomach felt a lot better my insides felt a lot better and uh, I mentioned that on the video, the exercise video, and right after that I had another cup of hot chocolate and another cup of the coffee. And it didn't help as much, but it did help a little bit. And I just let it go, because I figured, you know, you can't just keep drinking hot chocolate. I mean, it's going to work its way out. But I did follow what I said about the fast, because yesterday was a fast. Yesterday was nothing but liquids. Uh, unfortunately, I did drink uh, two... There's a store called Wawa, which is a uh, gas station store. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. Uh, it is amazing to see Wawa and a, and a company called Sheets competing with their, I call it a cafeteria. It's a cafeteria that's inside of their store. They've got a great staff of people and a menu of food that they will prepare for you on site that is really good. The prices are a little high, but that's to be expected for freshly made food. But it's surprisingly high quality. I will tell you this, the Wawa chicken soup is so damn good. I mean, it is that is the shining star of their place. That, and I got an Italian sub. And I got it, they've got a special. A, a foot long sub for $6. Um, I don't think it's a foot long, I think it, it's probably like 10 inches, but it, it seems like a foot, but anyway, I got an Italian that had everything in it and jalapenos and fresh jalapenos. And this was just been a week ago. And that was hot. I tasted that. That was hot as I was eating it, and it was good. The jalapenos were the perfect note for the rest of the sandwich. It was delicious. And I didn't have any problems. I didn't have this situation. And I suspect that's because what Sheets used, I mean, Wawa used as a jalapeno, which I could see the jalapenos. They're pickled jalapenos. You know, they come in a jar, a big jar, and then they either pour them out or they 
pull them out with a spoon and they put them on your sandwich. It's something that's real. So I don't know what uh, Popeyes is using for their ghost pepper spice, but I suspect that it's not. Uh, I suspect that although it may be derived from the ghost pepper, that uh, there is processing involved in it that destroys the naturalness of the ghost pepper. Uh, certainly, it's not something that uh, where they have a ghost pepper on site and they go through the hassle of, you know, making the actual ghost pepper, which I've seen on these these hot spicy eating challenges on YouTube. But this stuff, when it got down in the in my small intestine and in my large intestine, boy, this really told me it was there. And that was no fun. That was not something, that was not, you know, especially after there was no endorphin rush. You know, I mean, like I said, when you eat something hot, you expect something to be hot in your mouth when you eat it. You expect it to challenge you. And that's the whole point of eating something hot. And this didn't challenge my taste buds, didn't challenge my, my mouth, it didn't challenge my throat. It didn't challenge my stomach, honestly, until it just all got down here and just sat in like a lump. But when it started coming through my insides, then it 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 hurt. It didn't. That's not a challenge. Pain is not a challenge. So I, yesterday I did a fast all day, like I said I was gonna do, and uh, and it hurt for pretty much all day yesterday. Just uh, not an overwhelming pain where I thought, oh, I got to go to the doctor or something, but a pain that I could tell, you know, I. I will be glad when this comes out. That was the pain sensation I got because you could feel it. Every part of the intestine it went into, it was saying, sending uh, signs back and going, "Hey, I'm here! I'm here!" So this morning I was I went to sleep last night and I felt pretty bad. And I was like, and and part of that was genuinely just fighting that ghost pepper all day with the fast I was drinking water I was, uh, my, my go to to now is Deer Park water you know that's my go to is Deer Park water and if I can't get this I'll get giant spring water and I, and I look for that word spring water because spring water may be uh, filtered for uh, large particles but spring water should have in it some minerals that we need to survive spring water should have natural minerals that comes from the rocks that it runs through so but this morning boy three o'clock in the morning I, I looked at the clock I woke up I rolled over on my side in the bed and I felt the urge to fart and I made the mistake, I farted. And yeah, that's what happened. You know what happened. And it wasn't a lot, but I got up. As soon as it happened, I went, oh, uh, here we go, here we go. And let me look out this door here. My cross the street neighbor's dog likes to bark. Oh, okay. Checking their raccoon traps. So we've got a family of raccoons that's cost my neighbor five thousand dollars in damages to her house. They've chewed on the roof and shingles. They've pushed down the soffit under the eaves of the house. Uh, I've never seen this level of damage to a house. And that they've literally it may be more than five thousand dollars damage. But they're, they've got traps up there, humane traps. They've got a, a guy who's put traps up on a roof and they put cat food cans in the traps. And they caught one already and took the little sucker away. But uh, getting back to the story. So this morning at 3 o'clock, I got up, you know, after soiling myself, unfortunately. And it was all primarily liquid. Uh, 
went into the bathroom and uh, I, I just spent from 3 to 3.45 in the bathroom about every four minutes going to the bathroom and it was all the uh, there was some matter in it as I was going but it wasn't it was mostly just liquid but uh, it feels good to have that out but look like I said my go-to Deer Park water at three o'clock I went to clean myself up got my new underwear on and uh, right after I did that I laid back in the bed because I was still sore and I was like okay and I felt that urge again I went okay and then went back in there and did what I had to do and this and I just got to the point I said screw it I just sat on the john for about a half an hour and uh, you know every like every four minutes or so uh, more come out but uh, this is not something that I intend to ever put myself through again I mean I, I could have seen the, the if, if it had blown my face off you know and it had been uh, hot in a way that you could actually enjoy as a hot product I would accept that as you know part of the situation but it had no sensation of hot and so I don't know what they called it ghost pepper but I don't know what the hell they used to achieve a ghost pepper supposedly ghost pepper level high but I suspected it was an artificial chemical that approximates the the heat level of the ghost pepper and that disappoints me now I, I'm not gonna hold this against uh, Popeyes uh, because I, all their food is excellent. This is the first time I've ever got something that I could truly say, I'm never eating that again. I'm just not going to eat it again. Um, and what this does also for me is, if I go to a hot challenge, if I go to like something that's a hot challenge, or I, I ask somebody on a, a menu about a hot challenge, I'm going to actually ask them about how do you achieve that heat? Because one of the things that really pisses me off about a hot challenge is I don't want to see a bunch of pepper or powder around the food. You're cheating. That's ridiculous. I mean, if I wanted to stick my face into a cup of powder, you know, pepper powder, i just stick my face into a, a, a cup of pepper powder. I want to see it cooked into the food. You know, I want to see a, for example, Let's just say, for example, if you were going to use a powder on a piece uh, on uh, chicken wings, get a honey, get honey, get a honey sauce, and put that powder in that honey sauce. Put it around the wings before you cook it. Cook it with the honey with the honey sauce so it soaks into the wing, and then when you pull it out, take that honey sauce and put it over the wing again. So you're not eating just powder. You know, just powder is bullshit. You know, anybody can take just powder and throw it on something and go, hey, this is hot. No, this is just laziness. So I don't know what that ghost pepper was. I don't know what that, but it really made me pay a price on the back end of this. And I'm not going to pay a price like this again. I mean, uh, I like hot stuff, like I said, the jalapenos that I had put in the, uh, that, that Italian sub, by the way, was excellent. It tasted good in every bite. Their bread, Wawa's bread, is good enough to buy, I used to buy it when they used to sell chili, I would buy a foot long roll with margarine on it, because they don't have butter. But I would have them put margarine on both sides of it, and that was some good damn bread. And that makes a difference. That's why I don't go to Subway anymore, because their bread sucks. Their bread sucks. I've never had ta more tasteless bread in my life. And now I've heard that uh, the truth about Subway is it's actually not bread, it's actually candy. So, 
It's actually more attuned to candy, which doesn't surprise me. You know, I mean, I used to go to Subway a lot until Wawa showed up, and Wawa just makes a, a better tasting sub. That bread is fresh, tastes fresh cooked. It has a sourdough flavor to it. Their ingredients taste pretty good, and they stuff their subs with it. I mean, uh, they're not giving you a Subway has found the artwork of cutting their ingredients so thin that you almost can't taste it. I'm like, I have to order a double meat to get meat in the sub I can taste? I'm not going to buy that sub. You know, I have to buy double meat. Um, so, in any case, very disappointed about these ghost wing peppers not in a situation of well yeah in a situation of that uh, they did not deliver on what they were supposed to deliver they're supposed to make your face catch on fire you know and then when it goes down your throat you know you make your throat catch on fire and make your stomach catch on fire and then yes yeah, all the way down and then it comes out and makes that catch on fire but all this did was create a bunch of pain in my guts and it wasn't hot and I will say this, I will eat at Popeye's again. I love their chicken. I love their regular chicken. I love their spicy chicken. I love their, uh, um, I especially love their red beans and rice. Oh, man, that's so good. That is so good. Oh, my God, that is so good. I could just buy the big cup of red beans and rice and eat that. Their uh, onion rings, their fresh-made onion rings, and they make it, those are fresh made onion rings those ain't the bag that we all see with the with the hard crumbly outside on the onion ring inside that every other place cooks which you can make in your at home in your on, in your oven you can bake it these are actually genuinely made at Popeyes onion rings very unusual very delicious um, Damn, I'm getting hungry right now. So I will definitely eat at Popeye's. I'll probably just get their spicy chicken, probably their spicy chicken strips, or who knows, if there's a good deal on the bucket, I might get the bucket. Um, but I will never buy this ghost pepper product again because it's just inferior to the entire Popeye's experience. I would expect that if it was going to be ghost pepper that it would have blown my face off. You know, I, I should be sitting here with my face over here, you know. But instead, it didn't blow my face off. What it did was it just felt like all the way down from my, right after it left my stomach, all the way down to it, it came out. Um, and really, honestly, when it came out this morning, it didn't feel hot as it came out. And that's really crazy because that's one thing about hot stuff is that it's usually hot all if it's quality hot stuff it's hot all the way down and when you when it comes out you knew it you know it came out I mean you might be going uh, cleaning your hands and going to the uh, uh, freezer and getting you a couple of pieces of ice and putting it in you know a uh, toilet paper and putting it up on your hiney so that you can deal with the heat but this wasn't hot when it came out. That's very strange. It just hurt all the way down. So, I don't know. I just know that I won't ever volunteer for this trolley ride again. <laughs> so, but it felt good. You know, woke, woke up at 3 o'clock and all the adventure of from 3 to 3.45. Wondering, was this ever going to stop? And... You know, getting the little spritz every four minutes. And, uh, like I said, not a whole lot of, uh, not a whole lot of matter. I guess the chicken dissolved because my body ate the chicken, but whatever that spice was, it wasn't having none of that. So, I don't know what you're using, Popeyes, but you need to, you need to actually go taste your product do a taste test with your people of your product and if it's not hot in your mouth and it's not hot in your throat 
and it doesn't give you an endorphin rush when you eat it. I mean, that's a good that's a good test for me. Is if I ever eat something, and they're telling me that oh, this is the hottest thing in the world, and I put it in my mouth and I start biting on it and chewing on it, and my mouth tells me, Phil, you can handle this, bro. This is no problem. Is to say, okay, look, I've been through this before. This is not hot. I don't know what you're pulling here, but I'm not going to finish this. And that means that if I go to do a challenge like this, to buy a small amount of it first, to test it, to test taste it. Because, uh, I mean, they've got, a, they, they've got hamburgers, they've got jalapenos on them, and I've had a couple, and they were pretty good. But they were all the same product. It's the same product put out by the same company. It's in a jar, glass jar. It's pickled jalapenos. And they take the pickled jalapenos out and, you know, they'll do make their hamburger, they'll put their lettuce tomato mayonnaise on it, and then they'll put their pickled jalapenos on it. And some might put a little spritz of uh, <coughs> crushed red pepper on it. And that gives you the heat. And it's a good heat. And uh, those pickled jalapenos taste pretty damn good. So, yeah, I don't know. This uh, I've got this thing up to, what? 26 minutes <laughs> yeah 26 minutes talking about this shit but uh, I just wanted to recommend to you that you not go buy this uh, or that if you do that you don't buy it buy as small of quantity as you can and if you like the six wings that I bought that were like 1099 I think it was it says 1099 yeah, ten ninety nine. So if you're gonna eat that, go with a friend, share it with your friend, let you eat three and he eats three or she eats three, or they eat three, and uh, and share it with somebody. You know, you could even if you got like a family, you could share each one eats one wing and see what they say. Because Honestly, it was a disappointment from the moment I started eating it because I expected it to blow my face off. And that's what you expect with hot stuff. So, anyway, it feels better to be getting over this. I hope you weren't grossed out by the, the real story of the ghost pepper. But, uh, very disappointing. And, you know, it's a, it's a symptom of corporate, of, you know, this, is, this was a product that, that everybody wants to get in, in on top of. Um, I've seen Burger King had a ghost pepper, I think it was a burger or something, and some other places have had, had used the word ghost pepper. And I've seen on uh, YouTube, there's a guy named Review Bra that does Review It A Week. And I think he reviewed that uh, ghost pepper. He's reviewed a few <coughs> ghost pepper products. And it's, the main thing he says is this is not hot. And the, the one thing he does is he has an appreciation for heat. And he said, and I was surprised when I, when I ate these wings. I said, you know, these are not hot. And the worst thing is, here's the worst thing, is not that they're not hot. The worst thing is that they're not flavorful, more flavorful than the spicy wing that Popeye sells because the spicy wing they give you regular Popeyes and they give you spicy Popeyes that spicy chicken has a great hot taste to it I don't know what they use in it but Popeyes keep using it this does not have a great hot taste to it this just makes you feel like you're passing glass shards through your intestines <laughs> And that is not something I'm going to sign up for <laughs> anytime soon again. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this morning I was like, okay, I knew this was going to be bad when it, when, it, when, it, when it was going to end up, but I'm just glad to see it was ending up. And uh, uh, my insides are feeling a little bit better. I, th I thought I was going to go to Golden Corral today and celebrate and maybe record a breakfast buffet pound down but I'm just trying to give my insides a break and 
Uh, I have an appointment with Charlestown with a uh, contest that I drop a piece of paper they gave me because I won a jackpot about a, three weeks ago and I put this in a drum and maybe they're going to give me $10,000 but the reality is I'm not going to win that I'm not going to win that and I've got some other stuff some other benefits on the card that are waiting for me I'm probably going to get me uh, <clears throat> 10 more bowls of free chili either 10 or 12 and I'll freeze them now I used to, I got the steak meal before and the steak meal was really good but the hassle you gotta go through to get the steak meal I don't know I don't know we'll see but the chili's delicious and it, if you freeze it it lasts forever I mean I've ate that chili as a uh, you know I'm hungry I just want something to eat and the chili is beans and meat and a little bit of spices and it's not hot and if you want to make it hot hell, you throw a little bit of red pepper crushed red pepper in it or you throw some hot sauce in it so from a standpoint of getting something that actually you can save and use later nothing beats that chili so anyway I don't know I just want to warn you about this ghost pepper because this stuff this kind of makes me angry because uh, if you're going to do ghost pepper, if you're going to do hot spice, please do a good job of it. Don't do a shortcut or just don't do it. Don't lie to the public and throw a, a chemical substitute for ghost pepper in your powder and, you know, make something that, that's not genuinely hot going down. It has to be hot in your mouth. It has to be. When you bite on that, your tongue and your mouth should be on fire. And in a good way, you know? I mean, there are restaurants that specialize in this stuff. That do magnificent jobs using the ghost pepper and all the other hot spices. And uh, I guess I'm going to have to start going to those places instead of going to Popeye's. But like I said, no hate for Popeye's. I love every franchisee that I see of a Popeye's is an American but a foreign born American they're either Indians or they're Muslims or they're uh, uh, Orientals but they do a beautiful job with the product they do a beautiful job with the product they're very welcoming they do a wonderful job with the uh, interaction between the customer they have a great staff which is normally part partially family and it's a wonderful experience so this was just a disappointment because I this came from corporate you know this little taste experience came from corporate and I suspect that somebody in corporate was concerned that well if we make it too hot and we burn the customers mouth they'll hate it well tell your lawyers in corporate that they're not cooks and they're not the customer and they're not the people who run the franchises now ghost pepper that's genuine requires special handling protocol for the people who make it they have to wear gloves because it's so hot and they and if if there is a uh, if there is a smoke that comes off of it, they've actually got to wear a mask so I don't know if Popeyes is willing to go through that. But I would just say to Popeyes, stop selling this, man. There's nothing. I, that's my experience. Now, you might go to some other Popeyes, or you might have a friend who said, man, I checked those wings out, and they were awesome. He's full of shit. <laughs> well, I'm not full as full of shit as I was <laughs> uh, at 2.55 this morning. <laughs> so... I just want to warn you that this one product is uh, maybe not worth your time or maybe you should get that when you and your friends or your family go to Popeyes and just get one box of the six wings and each one of your family members gets one wing and you test it and maybe you say, you know, if what Phil said is true, this is not hot. It's just got a I don't know, kind of a bitter aftertaste to it, that's all. So 
that's all I want to tell you. Sorry this video went so long. I mean, this sucker is like at uh, 34. It's going gonna, it's gonna to split in half. Have a good one, folks. God bless you. We'll see you later.